hello guys and welcome back to dark horse fm and in today's video we're going to be looking at the bad company 4231 tactic from football manager 2020 it's a very attacking tactic and the reason why i'm interested in this tactic for this test is because the tactic deploys two central midfielders as opposed to two sitting defensive midfielders for football manager 2023 so with two central midfielders you might get that issue of having too much space between the defense and the midfield so for this tactic we're going to see if this tactic is going to give us some success in football manager 2023 the few teams are going to be testing this tactic out with that is leeds united silkeborg in the norwegian league in the danish league sorry fc no highland in denmark league as well liverpool panathinaikos in greece valor in iceland adana and galatasaray are turkish teams so in case you're using the football manager on mobile or you're playing football manager on xbox you can go on to follow along with the video and try to recreate the tactic for yourself and also if you're using the pc version like i'm using you can go on to download the tactic from the link in the description that i'm going to attach down below so let's get into it now with the sweeper keeper on defend duty this goalkeeper has only been asked to take fewer risks and then to ease off tackles the two fullbacks do not have identical instructions in this case. The fullback on the right hand side is a wing back on support and he has been asked to pass it shorter, cross on the byline, shoot less often, close down more and tackle harder. The wing back on the left hand side has been asked to pass it shorter, cross from the byline, shoot less often, sit narrower. That's the one instruction that differ between those two fullbacks and then close down more and tackle harder. All the other player roles are quite blank, so you have a deep line playmaker on support as the left central midfielder and then you have a Metzala on attack duty as the right central midfielder. Obviously, he's going to play as a link between the winger on support and the Metzala on attack. There's going to be much of an overload on this right hand side with the wing back on support as well. The winger on support has cross from the byline and get further forward and the same instruction or not the same instruction, the winger on the left hand side doesn't have any instructions. They have an attacking midfielder and an advance forward and both players do not have any instructions attached to them as well. The general mentality as I mentioned for this tactic is attacking where you can go for a positive mentality if the tactic is overly adventurous for your team. And then for out of possession instructions, this is the way they are selected. The team has a high press with a much higher line of engagement, much higher defensive line, sorry, much more often trigger press, preferential goalkeeper distributions, and then get stuck in instruction. But if you go on to have so many cards, I suggest you can take it off at some point in mid game thereabout. There's an offside trap as well, so the step up more instruction has also been included. And then you can also look at the team to trap the opposition outside and then to stop the crosses. That's to show the opposition on the outside. That's that works like a narrow defensive width. For your in transition instructions, you are going to instruct the team to counter press and then to counter while distributing or asking the goalkeeper to distribute the ball to the fullbacks. In possession, the team has been asked to have a fairly wide width, which is in tandem with the attacking mentality. The goalkeeper again has been instructed to play out of defense and then there's also look for the overlap on both flanks while the team has also been instructed to pass into space. The tempo is extremely high all the way to the top, blow it up and then for um for your crosses you're going to go for low crosses in this case and then walking the ball into the box while running at the opposition's defense this is the way the tactic instructions are set in from football manager 2020 so i didn't really tweak too much i set the out of possession instructions and there are set pieces attached to the tactic as well this is the way the set pieces are set up in the 4231 system and while i do recommend that you go on to have this as your set piece routine i also recommend that you go about creating your set pieces in relation to the team that you have but I just went on to recruit this for the tactic and in case you want to do it this the way it's done in attack as well. In defend it, by the way, when you're looking at the set piece on defend, it's the same thing for the left and on the right. So you just have to assign the players to their right positions and then give them the right instructions. And then in attack, it's the same thing, the near post corners. And this year, I'm not really a huge fan of near post corners because I noticed that as much as you can score from the near post, you can score from almost anywhere because the AI also goes on to score me from far post corners but by all means if you like near post corners you can go on to assign your near post that's your tallest player to the look the tallest player to the look around the near post and then you have your other tall player standing on the near post and then you have somebody charging the goalkeeper that sort of helps with set piece routines and then it's the same thing on the left and on the right hand side so we're going to go towards the end of the season and see how well this team is going to do with the tactic by the way if you're still not subscribe to the channel or if you're new to the channel remember to hit the subscribe button so you can get notified when more football manager tactic videos do come out on the channel so we're here at the end of the season and then yeah with liverpool liverpool went on to win the league by the way no surprises there but darwin Nunes went on to score 51 goals in the entire premier league season looking at the competitions in general you can see how well the teams did liverpool are currently in the final of the fa cup they've won the carabao cup 
they were knocked out in the round of 16 of the Champions League. That's terrible. And then in the English Community Shield, they went out to win that trophy as well, alongside the Premier League. And then looking at the team stats, Liverpool had the highest amount of goals with 103 in the league. That's not counting all the other goals that they went on to score in other competitions. And then most dribbles made Liverpool, looking at most possession, they were down in 7th with 52% average possession. That's not very good. And me, I'm a, possession, I'm a possession junkie, so I'm probably not going to enjoy that. And then most shots, Liverpool, so they went on to create everything, 2.34 points per game. But then again, that's Liverpool, so you have to look at all the other teams. By the way, Leeds United and Silkeborg went to the part company with their manager. And then looking at Valor, let's see how well they did. Okay, they're in the new season, so we have to go all the way back to their previous season to see how things went on for them. This is the current season, they are sitting in seventh. But in their first season, they went on to take, wow, second, second place. And then they've also qualified for the UEFA Europa Conference League. They lost seven times in the league, and then they had goals for 40 and then conceded 24 goals. Goal difference of 16. Well, it's a short league, so that's expected as well. Valor went on to do well with this tactic, by the way. Looking at Adana and Galatasaray, let's start with the Turkish league. And Galatasaray went on to finish in third place. I think they were predicted to finish fourth, so that's not very good. I actually wanted them to win the league. And then looking at their competitions, we can see that Galatasaray, the most amount of goals was by Galatasaray. They had 92 goals, fewer shots against was Stras and Spore, and then Galatasaray and Adana went on to were in 6th and 7th for shots against and then most goals Adana had 74 Galatasaray had 92 most shots for Adana and Galatasaray are right up there as well most possession down in 6th and 7th so not a really a possession based tactic because there's a lot of running and then the mentality is also set to attack and so the team isn't really obsessed with trying to hold on to the ball and keep possession they're trying to score goals all the time and then Panathinaikos um, I hope I didn't say that badly Panathinaikos went on to take third in the Greek league are there only six teams in Greece? That would be crazy. Okay, looking at the entire league table now, we can see they qualify for the championship and then they are currently sitting in fourth. So 51 goals scored. That's more than the amount of goals that the team that won the league, the Piakos went on to score. But then they conceded more goals. 54 in total. Not far off. That means they, could, they easily could have won the league if there were more, if they conceded less goals, I guess. So looking at their team stats, most goals was by Panathinaikos, of course, 72 goals. Most dribbles made Panathinaikos as well. So I consider you or I'll suggest using a positive mentality for this tactic to bring a lot more control to your game. But more often than not, you're going to score a lot of goals in this tactic. You probably would be the highest scorer when you're going on to use this bad company tactic. And that's how well the tactic has worked out for some teams. Not everybody, even though Liverpool went on to win the league. But that's just about Liverpool. No Highland. I think they're the last thing that I was supposed to look at. And they are the one team that didn't do well. Minus six goal difference. I think they're more of a mid-table side. So let's look at the competition in general for North Highland and see how well they did. Most teams, Copenhagen had the highest amount of goals, North Highland were in fourth. So as much as they scored a lot of goals, they conceded heavily, which is not good. So too much dribbling might be a problem for this tactic, but that's basically how the tactic went out for North Highland. They are in mid-table somewhat, let's say, they, yeah, it didn't go well for them at all. So guys, you've seen the tactic, you've seen the player instruction, you've seen the player roles and obviously general mentality. You can go you can go your own way and tweak the tactic to suit your team. Obviously, this that's the way football manager is supposed to be enjoyed. You can go on to reinvent the entire tactic by yourself. But I'm going to attach a link in the description so you can download the tactic for yourself and see how it works out for you. I'm going to catch you guys with more football manager tactics like this. Remember to hit the subscribe button so you can get notified when new tactic videos do come out here on the channel. I'll see you in the next video.